welcome back to my channel so you know we've been doing an onam series 2023 and some recipes for all the onam sadhya series so we've completed many of the recipes and we just have just one or two more left so out of the left out the list today i'm making sambar so this is a kerala uh, onam sadhya sambar but with my twist so rather than using tur dal i use chana dal here because i like the taste of chana dal i'm using coconut milk also and also i like it to be sweet so i like my sambar sweet therefore i'm using a small piece of jaggery if you don't like don't use that jaggery and the vegetables i've chosen for this sambar are the vegetables i like in my sambar so it's up to you to change it add this or don't add this and add more vegetables you like some people make sambar with uh, okra uh, potatoes eggplant i like my vegetables to be a bit hard so it gives a good crunch while having it with rice so come let's get cooking so to a large saucepan add about 4 tablespoons of coconut oil once the oil heats up add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and some curry leaves some curry leaves this is one large onion i have sliced it add that in as well and let this fry for about 3 to 4 minutes till the onion turn dark brown so once the onions have started to become dark brown add 1 tablespoon of dried red chili flakes and have already soaking some tamarind in 1 cup of water this is about uh, about 10 grams of tamarind soaked in 1 cup of water add that at this stage this is tamarind water about 1 cup so once the tamarind water starts to boil we can add our green chilies i'm using three green chilies so slice it in the middle three green chilies and now we can add one large tomato to this we will add one teaspoon of turmeric powder one teaspoon of cumin powder and two tablespoons of coriander powder and one tablespoon of red chili powder mix well after about 1 minute of this boiling we can add our dal so as i said i'm using channa dal for this sambar that is 1 cup of boiled channa dal add that in as well and now let's add water Three about three cups of about three cups of water. So once this starts to come to a boil, we can add some jaggery 
so the jaggery is just to give it a good sweet taste but if you don't like it you can omit it but i like it with a piece of jaggery so this is about 5 to 10 grams of jaggery so now it has started to boil at this stage we'll add our vegetables so it's up to you to add whatever vegetables you like but these are the vegetables that i like in my sambar so this is yam this is uh, it's called uh, elephant foot yam so everything has about 50 grams of vegetables so there's 50 grams of elephant foot yams i've cut it into cubes add that in now 50 grams of carrots i've cut it into cube sizes Fifty grams of raw banana or raw plantain. I've cut that also into cubes. Add that in. This is winter melon, or also known as white pumpkin. I think that is fifty grams. Add that also in. Beans, fifty grams, and drumsticks. Three or four pieces. This sadhya is for four people or four to five people. So, 50 grams of each vegetable is more than enough. So, after we've added everything, give it a good mix and let this boil very well for about 10 to 15 minutes. Lid closed on a medium flame. So, after 15 minutes, make sure the elephant yam that is cooked because that is the that takes the longest to cook so yes it is cooked now we can add now let's add salt mix well and there is one cup about 300 ml milliliters of thick coconut milk so once after after adding the coconut milk and once it starts to come to a small boil add about half a teaspoon of asafoetida powder and switch off the stove now as garnishing we can add some fresh coriander leaves so our tasty Kerala Onam Sadhya Sambar is done this is my way this is how I like my sambar with some coconut milk and it's basically one pot sambar. So try it out. So this is my style Kerala Onam Sadhya sambar. So try it out and let me know how you liked it. Very tasty. It has all the taste. It, is, it has its sour taste because of the tamarind, sweet because of the jaggery, spice and salt so if you don't like anything uh, out of the ingredients you can omit it it's not, nothing will happen because there won't be a difference in the taste except for the uh, jaggery and also if you don't like the coconut milk don't add it so i've done this recipe according to ho how i like it so this is my own uh, recipe so try it out and let me know how you liked it so let me taste it and show you it's very thick because the chana dal gives it a good texture and thickness and a good taste as well okay mm. it's not too spicy and it's not too um, salty as well it has a perfect taste because of that little bit of jaggery that we added everything is balanced so try it out Please like, share and subscribe.
to my channel and this goes superb with white rice. This uh, sambar will go superb with white rice and my favorite, favorite, favorite recipe. So, thank you so much for watching. So, until I see you guys next time with yet another video, this is your week signing off. Happy Onam!